everyone, it's Julia Elise. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the 12 Days of Juju. <music> So today I am so excited to be bringing you my 2017 Christmas apartment tour. For those of you who've been around since this time last year, first of all, I love you, and second of all, you will get to see how very different my decor is this year. I got to reuse a lot of my stuff while completely changing the aesthetic of all my decorations and to me that is so very exciting. So this year I went with a completely rustic farmhouse kind of look and I'm so happy with all that I got to come up with on my tight budget. As you know I am in college so all this was of course on a budget and you know what that is okay because I still love the way it came out. So if you're interested in seeing my apartment all decked to the halls, just keep on watching. Before I get into it, here is an overview. I absolutely love the way it looks and I can't wait to show you guys. First, I want to start with my Christmas tree because when I think of Christmas decor, I definitely want to see the tree first. So here's a quick little overview of it, but I'm of course going to go into more detail on what is each ornament, where I got everything, and etc, etc. So, starting with the ribbon, it's actually the newest thing that I got on my tree. I got the ribbon from TJ Maxx and it was literally $4.99, which I think it just adds so much more detail to the tree and I love it. There was ribbon left over, so my best friend Hannah actually made this bow using a broken rubber band. So, yeah. Clearly she is artistic and it looks so good. I love the way the bow looks on top, of course. So if you watched my Christmas decor haul, you saw that I picked up some of these ornaments from Big Lots. I love this one. It is so cute. It has that truck that you know I'm all obsessed with, with the Christmas tree in the back. So I love those. I think it adds just so much red to the tree and it looks fabulous. So these snowmen are actually new. There's three on the tree. I got those at Big Lots as well. They all have plaid belts and I think they are just so sneaking cute and they have a little Christmas tree on them which I think are adorable. I'm not going to go into too much detail of everything on the tree just because I do have a decor haul on my main channel and I will link it down below but yeah a lot of this stuff was super inexpensive. These bulbs were on my tree last year along with these bulbs and I think they go just as well this year. I also added these on the tree. These are from the dollar store so these were a dollar. I think it was a pack of like six and again I just wanted some more red this year because nothing shouts Christmas more than red. I have the burlap bows again from last year. I added a couple sprigs that I thought were really cute just to add more volume to the tree because this tree is pretty sparse but I freaking love it. The snowflake I used last year, that is from the Christmas tree shop along with the skirt. It is just like a burlap squirt, squirt. <laughs> it's a skirt, not a squirt. Um, and that is from the Christmas tree shop as well. And of course, these are not real presents, but I have to have presents under the tree because what is a Christmas tree without presents underneath? Moving on to my very little but beautiful surface space, I have the same picture frame as last year except I put a most recent Christmas photo of me and Brennan from last year, him giving me the necklace where we had the coordinates of our first kiss. I thought that was so sweet so I had to frame it and I just think it looks so festive and adorable. This frame is from Ross. And then I have these two reindeer that you guys saw in my Christmas decor haul from Hobby Lobby and a Christmas tree shop. I think that looks so cute together. And then I just have the most wonderful time of the year candle that is in the scent fresh balsam and it smells like a Christmas tree. That's why it's next to the tree because I light it so people think it's real. So this garland I used last year but I actually added these presents. My friend Nicole had that idea. These are originally ornaments but they were way too big for my tree so I put them on the garland and it looks so cute and she actually tucked like little pine cones within the garland as well which I think looks really really cute. Over here I have this sign that I used last year. It totally did not match last year but this year it actually does so I think it looks absolutely adorable and I have this candle that I showed you in my haul from Ross and this little guy from the Christmas tree shop and I think that it looks simple but it also looks cute so I love the way the surface space is used this year. So over here in my nesting tables I actually have this plate from Walmart on a photo stand and I think it looks so 
stinking cute. It was literally 99 cents. It is plastic, but it actually looks so nice. So I love that very much. Then over here, this guy is pretty new. I got him at the Christmas tree shop and I added fairy lights to it so it kind of sparkles and shines like Christmas is supposed to look like. And it just has these like rustic bows and I love the snow dipped look. So I thought that was really cute over there. Here I have this little jar that looks like an ornament and has a little bit of like rustic detail like this rope handle and of course like the worn out glass. I got that from the dollar spot section at Target and inside of it I just added this little sprig from Walmart that has the burlap and the holly berries and the pine needles I thought was really cute. And then next to it I just have this little gift box that I bought for a video but I thought it would look cute right there. So. That is my nesting table. For my wall space, I have the same stockings from the Christmas tree shop that I used last year, but this year I added garland. That is from the dollar spot. It was $3 at Target, and I think it goes so nicely. Right above the nesting tables, I have this canvas that I am obsessed with. It is from Michaels. I got it for $9.99, and it says Noel Farms, and it has, of course, the car that I am so obsessed with. It looks adorable. It is such a farmhouse feel, and I think it really just adds so much to the room. So over on my windowsill, if you don't know this about me, I celebrate both Hanukkah and Christmas, so I have my menorah over here. And I think it's very beautiful. Next to it, I got this a while ago, but I thought it would look cute next to the menorah. It's just this um, kind of fake DSLR looking um, thing from Ross. I have the Tis the Season candle, and I just have this little Santa with candy in it. Um, it's not my favorite part of it, but I just love to have my menorah on display for the world to see. So I just kind of added a little cute decorations here and there. Moving on to my coffee table, I just have my three mason jars that I always have. But this year, I added some sprigs. They are normally supposed to go on a Christmas tree but I figured why not put them in my jars and they look so adorable it's the same one that's over there on my nesting table I think they are so cute and they were so cheap they're literally 99 cents each so beautiful and they're from Walmart and then I have this candle burning it's frosty cranberry but of course this car is my favorite part I absolutely love the car. It's my favorite thing ever if you guys can't tell already. Moving on to the couch, I have the same snowflake pillows as last year and of course they have my taupe pillows that are here all year and my hello pillow is here all year. The only thing I added this year that's different from last year is this beautiful blanket. Of course it's not everybody's taste but it has the Christmas cars all over it and I got this at Steinmart on sale for like seven dollars and I just think it looks so cute with the style I have going this year and I absolutely love the way my couch looks. Not to mention the pop of red just makes me feel so festive, warm, and cozy. For my table this year, I got some new placemats from Big Lots. I absolutely love these. I think they're adorable. And I just have this little pine cone dish that I put together with whatever I had left over. I think it looks super cute and the tin makes it more rustic and less chic. And I love the way my table looks. It's super cozy and festive. For my entranceway this year, I kept it super simple, but I absolutely love it. So of course I have the Christmas car, but this one has this gorgeous plaid buffalo checky pattern on it. I got this at the Christmas tree shop. You saw it in my decor haul, but it looks so cute here. I love it so much. I got this snowman and the Santa here. You guys again saw this in my decor haul. And then I have this tree that I used last year. And again, it's like one of those things that it just goes so much better this year than last year with my style. And I love it so stinking much. I ended up hanging this canvas that you saw I got from Kirkland's over here. I think it's a great thing to see when you walk in and I love it so much. And then finally, to end the tour, we have this gorgeous doormat. Okay, you guys, so that is it for my 2017 Christmas apartment tour. I hope you guys loved it. I love the way it looks, and I know it's not everybody's style, but I love the rustic farmhouse look. It is so adorable, and as you can tell, a buffalo check is my new obsession for 2017, so I cannot wait to show you guys my apartment next year. It's just so exciting to watch my decor style just kind of evolve over the years, and of course, always sticking on a budget is super important. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumb thumbs up and go check out my vlog channel. I am doing vlogmas which means I am uploading every single day there while uploading three times a week here for the 12 days of Juju. So if you want to see a lot of this face, go check out my vlog channel and definitely stick around by subscribing here if you're not already. I love you guys so much. Thank you again so much for watching. Happy holidays and I'll catch up with y'all later.